hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core today i'm going to show you the next video tutorial of a uh, vehicle rental system that is the part 2 video tutorial and uh, the previous video tutorial i uh, uh, i was saw, uh, i did showing uh, some uh, ppts uh, uh, of the projects so the uh, in this project uh, i will create models according to this diagram Uh, you can say the entity ship relationship diagrams so first of all create a user class i mean to say that application user class so uh, just go to the model section and add a new class right click on it and add a new class that is the name of the class is application user class and that application user class is inherited with the identity user must to use it because in this project uh, i will use identity server and in this application user class uh, we have two other properties that is first name and the last name and the email and the password is already exist also the contact number is also exist in the identity user class so uh, application user class have multiple rentals i mean to say that a user can uh, uh, use multiple rentals i enumerable rental multiple users so you can check it a user have multiple rentals okay now also a vehicle have multiple rentals so just uh, going to the another model that is the vehicle uh, in this vehicle we uh, in this model we have id of the vehicle registration number model uh, i mean to say that vehicle have multiple rentals you can say that so a vehicle have multiple rentals also a status have multiple rentals so that class is a status class A status is ID, code, and description, and the status have multiple rentals. Now, the another class is that vehicle type. Uh, relation uh, complete. Uh, vehicle type is have single relation with the vehicle, but vehicle have multiple vehicle types. So, just going uh, go to the vehicle. A vehicle have. You can see. a vehicle have multiple vehicle types you can say a vehicle have multiple vehicle types a vehicle have multiple rentals but not vehicle have multiple vehicle types only the single types is there so a vehicle have multiple vehicle it's not vehicle it's only the single vehicle type okay and the vehicle type have a single vehicle but a vehicle type have multiple vehicles so just it is the wrong uh, diagram so you can update it uh, vehicle have vehicle type have multiple vehicles okay you you know that now a uh, manufacturer a manufacturer with the id name and the details a manufacturer have multiple models so a manufacturer have multiple models a model have multiple vehicles so a model have multiple vehicles a model have multiple vehicles only the single manufacturer id you can say um, in between the manufacturer and the model manufacturing and the model with the single relationship um, and the single relationship is getting by this manufacturer and in the manufacturer id so all these things are clear in the model class so one by one i will show uh, that is application user class that is the location a location have multiple vehicles so you can use this a location have multiple vehicles so in the manufacturer in the model in the rental in the status in the vehicle and the vehicle type so after uh, uh, created uh, models now go to the section of app settings folder now remove all these things from the pro, uh, yeah now just go to the app settings folder in the app settings folder we have a connection string that is the default connection that is the data source is app.db that is the sql like uh, uh connection that is app db is created now after that you can go to the section of application db class and application db class is inherited with the identity db context in which you can pass application user class 
now you can add these model in the application db class that is the location manufacturer models rentals status type and the vehicles similarly now after that you can go to the section of um, program.cs file in the program.cs file that is the first thing you can do in the startup.cs file you can add the services of add db context that is the default connection get a connection string and use sqlite so after doing this you can uh, go for the migrations so enable migrations is also add that is the init migrations and after migration you have uh, created your app.db file in into your projects so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other remaining videos which is related to this process uh, keep watching thank you very much for watching this video